In this episode, we are fitting a brand new Recaro into the RX-7. Tonight, we are starting the interior makeover with a brand new Recaro. If you've ever been in a car going at speed, you know that you get tossed around quite a bit. And at the track, it's not ideal when you're trying to make precise changes to the car. I actually quite like the stock seats and I think they're quite comfortable. But at the track, I find myself bouncing around and having to brace myself instead of focusing on the driving. This is the Recaro pole position. ABE model which comes in a slightly wider base and the combination I've chosen is this leather fabric material called Ambler Dynamica. It's kind of getting late tonight so I'm just going to remove the driver's seat and then later this week we'll get onto it. So tonight we move on to mounting the seat. And one of the reasons why it's taken so long is because there just aren't many seat rails which will suit such a wide seat, especially the adjustable type rail. And the RX-7 cabin is actually quite narrow so none of these rails, these two, actually would fit the seat. This one is um, the Bride Super Low Rail and it will suit a seat about 400 millimeters wide. And this one is the Duran Racing Reclinable Rail which I tried to put L brackets on, which will fit, but the seat just sits way too high. So I've ended up with these Ronin Speedworks fixed mount seat brackets. They're a company in America and when I contacted them they told me they'd fit. And I think this is the only way to fit such a tall seat uh, inside the RX-7 cabin. There simply is not enough room to fit sliders and this seat really needs to sit as low as possible. So this is what you get from Ronin Speedworks. You get two brackets which are bolted into the floor pan on these four holes and you've got two L brackets which will bolt straight into the seat. And after that, these should just pop straight on and they'll be adjustable depending on the width of the seat. And in case you were wondering, these brackets are symmetrical. So these will go onto a driver's side or a passenger side, right-hand drive or left-hand drive. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a mock fit and then we'll take it out of the car again, adjust the seat properly and put it back in. So that's the first fit up done and I'm really happy with how it's turned out. This is in the best driving position for me. I like to see it slightly lower than stock and this is in that position. As it is adjusted this seat is already on the lowest position and I can't fit my hand between the floor pan and the seat. So I reckon if you're six foot and over or you like to sit like way on the floor, I think this seat's probably not for you because this is as low as the seat's going to go. So what's left to do now, I'm going to take the seat back out and tighten up all the bolts and I'm also going to look into removing a bit of that rubber padding underneath this uh, bolster. That's because it's fouling slightly on the door trim here uh, when the door is fully closed. Not by much, but I want to get it sitting perfectly. So I've marked out on each side where I want to remove some of that rubber padding. So here on the, on the right side and on the left side here. First of all you have to loosen the cable which runs all the way along the trim. And there's a spring here, all you have to do is grab two pliers and pull and pull this eyelet out of the spring. Probably should use some PPE as well. Send it. There we 
There we go. So that'll take all the tension off this fabric. So next I'm going to peel this back. Just where I've got my marking. And that's the rubber I'm going to be removing. I should be able to expose the fiberglass and just cut it. So just push this rubber back on and then the trim can go back over it like that. Now I'll repeat with the other side. And that's the rubbers removed. So the seat and the rail are all ready to go back into the car and what's left to do is to fit the seatbelt buckle. I spent years of research and development So the Recaro is ready to go back in the car and I just thought I'd show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of the two seats and you can just see how much wider the Recaro is compared to the stock seat. When looking at the height of the cushion you can see that the Recaro you do sit a bit lower uh, but it's not by much. It, it is noticeable but not much. And the side-by-side -side, you can see that the bolsters are actually a similar height so it actually makes for getting in the car a lot easier than I thought it would. And that's a wrap of the install guys, I hope you like the seat. I reckon this Recaro just suits this interior perfectly with the leather, but I must add, the only downside, and I mean the only downside to this seat, is just how wide the base is, and that's the reason why it's so comfortable. And there is still a slight contact with the door trim, and I mean just slightly. It's really not bothering me that much. But I do have a solution and I'll definitely keep you guys updated when I've done that. Once again, thanks everyone for the support. You guys are the ones keeping me going with this channel. So I really appreciate all the likes, all the subscribes, and I'll see you guys in the next video.